Typically, I only like to discuss freeware-based software. But once in a while, a piece of software comes along that actually warrants paying for it. Today, we're going to discuss Virtual Audio Cable. Virtual Audio Cable provides a workaround for the What You Hear recording option that was removed from most sound cards in Windows 7. To help establish the importance of Virtual Audio Cable, we have a scenario in which I want to record myself playing a video game in order to post it on YouTube. The problem we have though is while my voice is being recorded, the game sounds are not. Now in the past operating systems and sound card drivers, fixing this would be as simple as going to your recording options and setting it to the stereo mix or the what you hear as the master recording device. This would enable the recording of your microphone and the sounds that are coming from your computer at the same time. But thanks to the Recording Industry of America, who petitioned most major sound card manufacturers and Microsoft, these features were removed from most sound card drivers and operating systems. Now even though these features were removed, a solution exists. The solution is Virtual Audio Cable. It functions like a virtual patch cable system that lets you connect one audio source to another via software. Now admittedly, Virtual Audio Cable's website is dreadfully bland, but don't let that sway you into thinking that their software is anything but amazing. Virtual Audio Cable does allow you to download a free trial version from their site so you can be 100% sure that it works for your needs before purchasing. After you install Virtual Audio Cable, the first thing to do is navigate down to your sound icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, right click and select Recording Devices. Now in the recording devices list, we can see a list of all the recording hardware in my computer. We can see that my microphone is a Yeti stereo microphone. And there's a new device, Line 1, which was installed by Virtual Audio Cable. The first thing we want to do is go to Microphone, right click, and select Properties. Now select the Listen tab from the top. Make sure the Listen to this device is checked and the playback through device is selected to be Line 1 Virtual Audio Cable. Now, select the Virtual Audio Cable Line 1 and click Set Default to set Line 1 as the default recording device. Click the Playback tab and yet again select Line 1. Click Set Default to set Line 1 as the default playback device. Now to finish up, click the Recording tab up top and we're going to select Line 1 and click Properties. Select the Listen tab, make sure Listen to this device is checked, and make sure Playback through this device is set to what your normal playback device would have been. In my case, it's Speakers. And with this we're done, now all sounds and mic inputs will be recorded through a single recording device. So let's test it out. Alright, here's the game. Now you can hear my voice perfectly fine. Now let's try the game. Okay. Oh, you heard that? Let's try some explosions. Let's see how well these come across. Nice, beautiful. Sound comes through just fine. Uh, it's a software-based stereo mix, or what you hear, and it works flawlessly. Let's try one more time. Let's get a nice explosion, though. Something disgusting. Mm -hmm. Okay. This'll do. Yeah, this works. So with this you can do DJ style stuff, overdub yourself while you're playing a game so people can understand what you're doing, describe, you know, your actions, and um, it restores a feature that was removed. Virtual Audio Cable. Try it out. Links to Virtual Audio Cable are in the video's description. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, 
please send us a message.